everyone and welcome back to the farmhouse. It is so good to have you along today. I have a DIY organization project for you and if you are new here please say hi in the comments so I can say hi back to you and take a moment to subscribe so that you can be notified more of what goes on at the farmhouse and there is a little bell you can click on and that will send you an email telling you that I've uploaded a video. Right behind me, there are some built-ins here, and this used to be our dining room. And so having these built-ins right here and the kitchen right there was pretty convenient. Now things got moved over here and downsized a couple of years ago when our original pantry, which is just a few steps over, got disassembled to put our washer and dryer upstairs because it was previously in the basement and there was previous to that before we moved here a hookup for the washer and dryer in that tiny closet but um, the new washer and dryer wouldn't go through the door so we actually had to knock out the walls and that project is still not finished. Give this video a thumbs up if you have a project that has been ongoing for a long time now. So the story goes that 33 by 80 inch closet had five big beautiful shelves and it was an amazing pantry but when the washer and dryer had to come upstairs post hip replacements then this little area became our pantry and it was working well until a few months ago when we had some major changes now our grandfather moved in and he moved in quite suddenly he was in the nursing home and they told him his time was up at the nursing home and he had to go somewhere else and he could not go back home so we brought him to our house our dining room because he could not climb steps, became his suite. Now the changes are that we have more food. We have an, another person to feed in our household. And when grandpa is sleeping, he takes a couple naps during the day and he goes to bed early. And if we want a snack or something and it's in this pantry, it is pretty inconvenient to come in here and disturb him. Now you can see there's a curtain across the doorway here and we do that to help keep more heat in this room to keep him warmer and to give him some privacy. So we don't want to keep jogging in here and when he's resting to disturb him for something out of the pantry. So lately I've just been taking things from here and taking them to the kitchen and just shoving them in the cupboards as I can. And I've been buying things and just putting them here. It's overflowing. It's falling all over. I have had some revolution that some of the things that are in here really don't need to be in here. I've also had the resolution that some of the things in my kitchen can be moved to here or gotten rid of. So it's going to be a major declutter. I'm going to shop for space in my kitchen to move the things that we use the most so that they are handy for us. Make more room for grandpa's things because grandpa has a special low sodium diet and I want him to be able to find his things easily because as you know those with dementia do have a hard time finding their things so I want his things separate so that he can find them easily and eat the right foods. So without further ado we're going to get started and throughout this video I'm going to share some really important tips with you to make this project less painless. If you've seen my how to organize like a pro video, I wanted to share with you how to take out the massive feeling of being overwhelmed when you start a project of this proportion. So I'm going to share those tips with you throughout the video. Tip number one, make it enjoyable as possible. Um, wear comfortable clothing and turn on something you enjoy listening to. If your television is close by, put on a movie or a show that you've already watched so you can listen and enjoy it. I often use my phone on YouTube to listen to free music on YouTube. They have free audiobooks on YouTube. So there is a multitude of things that you can do to make it more enjoyable while you're working. We're gonna start off with a tour of the former dining room. This is now Grandpa's room and 
you can see how it's so close to everything now. And you know how it is for our seniors when they have to downsize. And so we've brought just a few of his favorite things, as many as we could pack in the space for him. Now I'm standing by the bed looking over in the corner and that is the built-in, the pantry area. And you can see the hallway leading to the kitchen and we have the curtain drawn across. Big tip guys, before you get started with a project of this size, go ahead and plan your dinner, whether it be a crock pot or sandwiches or something you can grab and go. But this is going to be amazing later when the kitchen is too chaotic to cook in. So here we are, here is my mess. You can see that it's just everywhere and we did have a system, but not anymore. It's just a little chaos everywhere. Up here on the top, I did have my spices and cookbooks. And this shelf here was for overstock condiments. And I had my soup starters and almond milk broth, things like that were on the shelf. Uh, we also have this cabinet to bring in to utilize for grandpa's things in case we run out of space. And this lower shelf we used for baking items. In the kitchen, it's the same story. This is my pantry that's in the kitchen. It has never, I guarantee you, looked like this. So big tip again, bring in extra help. We can utilize the infamous unfinished laundry room folding table. But we also have this table that my friend Heather let me use and I'm so thankful. In the kitchen, I've put away everything that wasn't necessary so that I have extra place to put everything because we are going to do the first thing I always talk about in all my organization videos and that is clear your space. So we need lots of room to put everything because we're cleaning it all out all of these spaces we are doing the dining room pantry we are doing the kitchen tall pantry the cupboard next to that uh the one above the stove and the one next to the stove so we have a number of places we're going to be working on today and before we can do any organizing we are going to clear it all out. Be mindful while you're doing this to sort as you go. And as you just seen me point out, check expiration dates. No use trying to put something in the cupboard that's already expired. Check your dates and be sure that it is still good. And friends, let's be honest. Are you going to use it? If you really don't think you're going to use it, you can donate it to a food bank or a family member. Get rid of it. No sense putting it back in there to take up more space if it's not something you're going to eat. So once you get all your space completely emptied out, then go ahead and wash it down. I'm using my Mrs. Myers. I love the radish scent. I've not heard any other person talk about the radish. I, the honeysuckle, the of course, everybody loves the lavender, but no one talks about the radish. Okay, just from this small area, that's what I took out. And in the kitchen, guys, it's not just the front. These drawers are very deep and they pull out and the whole thing is congested and full of just unsorted stuff. Like I said, it's been difficult trying to have things in two different places and bringing it all in to make it convenient. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sort it all out, get it emptied out and take it from there. Yep, empty boxes, several empty boxes, taking up valuable space here. So those have gotta go for sure. Remember me talking about those Aldi boxes? Yep, it's our chip storage box and it slides very well down in that space. We need to do something different, but for now, it works. This is my most used cupboard and it is my healthy cupboard and it doesn't look real healthy right now, I know, but this is where I keep the things that I use most often during the day. I wanna get this cleaned out so I can keep using it the way I usually use it. 
and I'm gonna pull out everything, including my tea, and yes, I do need this much tea, and this much tea, and this much tea. I like tea. Give me a thumbs up if you are a tea drinker. Give me a comment in the comment section, which is your favorite tea to drink. Now we're gonna move on to the baking cupboard. Now I know there are some things in here that I can get rid of and I can reuse some of that space. I found in here several items for making uh, soaps and lotions. And while I love to do that and it's nice to have them handy, I don't use them very often. I make soaps and lotions maybe once or twice a year. So nope, those don't need to be in there right now either. We can find a better place for them and use that valuable space for something we use all the time. Last cupboard, it's just this bottom shelf. The rest of it is for dishes, and this is our box food item, so to speak. And we don't eat a lot of pasta, but I have um, things that I like in here, like quinoa and things like that, but we gotta get it organized. Here we are, guys. Everything is out. The cupboards are all clean, and it's all organized. I know it doesn't look like it. I have it sorted as to what I want to put where. And there is all my tea. And I just don't know what I'm going to do with all my tea. I'm really worried about my tea at this moment. But we're going to make it work. I promise you. So here it is, friends. It is now dinner time. And you can see that this kitchen is in total chaos and it doesn't look like it's very workable to cook in. But I am going to enjoy a nice hot bowl of my sausage, white bean, and spinach stew. It is gonna taste so amazing and I am so grateful I started this earlier in the day. Another big tip, friends, sketch it out. This is what I talked about in that organizing like a pro video. And if you have not seen that, I will totally link that down below for you so you can get caught up on all these tips that I'm talking about. This is so helpful for me. I am a visual organizer and I can see it all in front of me and I can see the empty space that's available, but I have to be able to take it and apply it into a space. And that really helps me get over that overwhelming feeling that I just don't have enough room or where is this going to go. It just takes a couple minutes, but once you get that done, boy, it just clears the area and you just are ready to organize and get it going. This is our soup shelf. Now I don't buy a lot of soup just because we don't really eat it, but it is my favorite go-to meal if the power's out or uh, you just have that day where there, it's past dinner time and you need something quick. My husband's a Campbell's man and I am a Progresso girl and grilled cheese, salad, and soup is my favorite express meal. And you gotta have the sick soup, right? You gotta have that chicken noodle in the back just in case somebody is sick because chicken noodle is the best when you are not feeling well. Now I know this is soup, but we don't eat this as soup, so it's not going to go in the soup cupboard. We have a different place for that one. Next shelf down is the veggie shelf. Now I can my own tomatoes, but I do tend to pick up a few just in case. And the only vegetable I buy in a can is peas. Everything else is frozen, but I don't like frozen peas. And on this shelf, I also keep some things uh, for making meals. Next shelf is the meat and bean shelf. This is where I keep canned meat and just in case we're power outage. And I also keep beans on the shelf. And this is a good meal planning shelf because that's where we're putting those cream of soups. I like to make my own cream of whatever, but 
Sometimes I buy it in the can too. Crackers are my thing. I love crackers and these were in the other room. So when I wanted a snack, it was really hard to go get one. So I made a spot for the crackers. And actually this shelf ended up being a totally cool shelf for all kinds of snack stuff. I found these little bins at Dollar Tree. Also that white one was Dollar Tree. Popcorn in that one. And then we have another one for small snacks. And because that box thing ain't broken for us, we're keep using it. Next, I move it on to the healthy cupboard and I like to keep my healthy snacks in these glass jars because it keeps them fresher longer. And things like walnuts, almonds, dark chocolate chips, cranberries, you got it. Here is another box project. You know I love reusing my boxes. Now this project doesn't have to be fancy. I wanted to get this done. I could have bought some Ikea bins or something else, but it doesn't have to be fancy. You can go back and glue paper on these and Mod Podge, but I'm using this as a drink sorter and a storage for my True Lemon. I love True Lemon. I drink a lot of water every day and I like to keep my True Lemon handy where I can just reach in the cupboard and grab one out. And this works really well for me. So there is my reuse box. I'm going to go ahead and stock this cupboard now with the things that are the healthy things that I use every day. And I thought this was going really well. And as I was storing it, I'm thinking like, look at all this room that I have. There's my beloved True Lemon. And these are the packets. And look, they just go in there and I'm just going to pull them out. There is my tea. I keep um, several tea bags in there. My green tea also pluck one out put it in my cup oh yeah the good stuff got some of that too but I have all this room and guess what I didn't have a place for all my tea so I decided to rethink this and I put everything down a shelf and it looks like I'm gonna have room I have my overstock of green tea I get this on auto ship from Amazon because the stores around here sometimes carry it sometimes don't Tension Tamer Tea, have you tried that? Works really well. So I've got all those teas in there and I had several boxes left over, no more space. So I came up with this little plan. I took all of those teas and put them in a container and they're all in here and that works really well. And these are the ones I use the least, but I also wanna to explain to you why I did it. Celestial Seasons, my number one brand, the one I use the most, packages their teas like this. So there's no little string with a name on it. There's no bag. So if you put these together, you have no idea what you're getting. And they absorb the flavor of the other ones really easily. So now I have all those empty boxes, all that space, and I'm going to move on to the baking cupboard. Like I said, I took out all those other things I didn't need and I ended up with so much space in here. The only regret I have is I really wanted to get some containers for the flowers, but I didn't do that because we're working on a budget. I just have one more cupboard to go and then to go ahead and fill in the pantry. I'm really happy how it's going so far. One more cupboard, let's knock it out. Well, as you can see, guys, I'm slowing down. I'm getting tired. I'm looking like a hot mess here. And I just wanted to say to you, don't overdo it. Don't stress yourself out doing a organization project. If it is too big for you, then go ahead and break it down and do one cupboard at a time or one area at a time. This worked really well for me to get it done on this day because grandpa was gone and he has a walker and I have to keep all the areas clean and easy for him to get through. So this day worked for me and it was an all day thing. Don't overwhelm yourself by trying to tackle it all one day if you feel you can't do that. Just go ahead and do what you can. Schedule it for, for several days or a couple weekends, however it works for you, so that it's not overwhelming. Okay. 
you can see here guys that the struggle is real I had these chickens cans of chicken and I had this tuna and I didn't know what to do with it and finally an idea came to me and I found a place to put it and I'll show you at the end where it went but it worked out really great As it turns out, I didn't have to use much of that countertop. I was able to contain it all on this table. This is what's going back in the pantry. I have the pantry all emptied out, ready to go. I'm gonna start with my wire racks and I'm gonna go ahead and go back and put my overstock back where I had it in the first place and work with putting my condiments back in their areas and we'll see how this goes. I was able to keep this spices on the top shelf along with my cookbooks. The second shelf ended up being the broth and overstock area and the baking was there. Now the only thing at the end of the day that I didn't have room for were the potatoes and onions. So these were in the tall cabinet and I used their shelf for the crackers and the snacks. So I found some cute baskets. I had this bottom shelf of this kitchen island and I thought, well, those would look really nice there. So I went ahead and got some bins, filled them up with the potatoes and the onions, and then I actually put another bin on the other side. Of, I buy a little package of other potatoes, so they will go in there, and that worked out really well. Now look here, you see this little guy? This is Bear, he's our new puppy. Uh, he looks at these like, oh, potatoes, that's cool, and he has no interest. I can't tell you the number of potatoes that have been disappearing in the last few days. So there we have it. That's the transformation for the potatoes and onions. I really like how they look there. And starting in the kitchen from the top, the top shelf used to be soup. It became breakfast and I really like that. We still have our soup shelf. It's just one shelf down easier to use because you can pull it out and you can see all the ones in the back. The next shelf down of course is our vegetable shelf and our tomatoes for chili and things like that. This turned out really well. We move on to that really cool uh, meat shelf and look guys this is where I ended up putting the chicken and the tuna it's meat right there is the cracker shelf the snack shelf that worked out really well that was formerly the potato and onion shelf and there we kept the chips right as we had them before and the protein powders my teas and all my healthy snacks this cupboard turned out great I really like it then we have the um, the last cupboard there and it turned out great too. So guys, I just want to thank everyone for coming along and being with me today in this total transformation. There's the before and the after. So please like, subscribe. Thank you for all your support. It really does help my channel grow. I hope this has inspired you to tackle your organization, give you some really good tips to get you through it. And I'll see you all very soon. Be blessed and be safe.